It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. What's up, Facebook? Happy New Year. I'm officially back in the office. My assistant, Rebecca's here. Rebecca, say hi. Wave to the people. Hi. Rebecca <laughs> is here, honey. She is helping me with this. You see all these names? Y'all can't see it on Instagram. You see all these names? Those are the people, my amazing actors who have already signed up for Bookmore TV. Yes, yes, yes to all of you. So I had, I had to call in some reinforcements. I had to say, Rebecca, I, said, I need you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so seriously, but listen, um, if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, put one in the comments so that I can welcome you. Um, you're going to want to watch way more episodes after this. As you come in the room, please say hi. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Orlando, right? Hi, Shamika. I mean, Sheila. If you're an OG, you've been watching these videos for a long time, put OG in the comments so I know you are OG. This is episode 209. And tonight's episode is called, <laughs> It's Time to Find Out If You're Any Good. It's kind of a hard episode, but it's a talk I think we need to have as we move into the new year. Yes, Cayman Islands, Wendy Miller. Thank you so much for the beautiful card you sent me. Um, hey, you're queer. So let's get into it today. Look, for real. Hey, Tanika. This is actually a... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hype as always, but um, it is a serious topic and it's something I do want to touch base with you on tonight and then give you some love and give you some encouragement behind how to approach this. So in honor of my course, Bookmore TV, doors close Wednesday at midnight Pacific time. If you're trying to work with me, they close and they're not opening. Okay. But it's made me, I've talked to a lot of actors. God, this week, doing last week during all those webinars, we had like four webinars last week. I feel like I've talked to, out of the 650 of you or so that registered, I feel like I've, talk, I've talked to just hundreds and hundreds of you this week and just in the past in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. And something that came up is there's this fear, and let me know in the comments if you can relate. Y'all know there's one little hair. I don't have no makeup on for y'all today. But there's this fear that I've uncovered that I'm hearing from some of you is that some of you are afraid to do the work. You're afraid to really go deep into self-taping. You're afraid to really go deep and even announce and say to the world that you are an actor. You're afraid to stay in class. You're afraid for people to see your work. Um, you're afraid to fully even admit to yourself and to your family and to your friends that you have gone all in as an actor. And here's why. And one of my clients said this to me personally. She said, Christine, I was hesitant to do the homework assignments you gave me because once I did, then I would have to deal with the reality or the fact that I may not be as good as I think I am. Put ouch in the comments if you can relate. Put ouch, come on, let's be transparent as 2020 pops off. Put ouch in the comments if you've ever thought like, mm, I don't even want to take that class. I don't even want to submit. Some of y'all are, are declining auditions that could change the trajectory of your career because you are not quite sure if A, you deserve it, if you're worthy enough, or if you really have the talent to show and prove. Okay? Okay, Manuel, I see you. Ouch. You know something one of my coaches used to say? If you can't say amen, then you just might say ouch. And that's okay because the first thing is about uncovering what has been blocking you. Listen, we can't afford, none of us, not me, not you, we can't afford to come into this new year, this new decade, this new pilot season, episodic season, right? Veronica says, super ouch. <laughs> we can't afford to come and waste no more time, y'all. Let's admit, hey, I'm scared. Hey, this is really vulnerable. This is why a few days ago, last week on a live, I talked about you guys making sure you're studying with someone or whoever your coach is or wherever you do your self tapes, if you're not taping at home. Even if you're taping at home for an audition, whoever's reading with you, that you feel completely free to be an actor, free to mess up, free to be vulnerable, free to flub a line, free to cry if you need to. But it's about time, uh, Orlando, I see you said, ouch. Y'all got to find out right now what the truth is. I, y'all know, I am so not the one to blow smoke up your butt. And so I encourage you to make sure that you are staying with people who will uplift you in a very, um, in a way that supports you and that, it, and that is honest. 
So here's a couple of tips I want to give you um, as we move into this new year. So if you're just joining us, this is episode 209 of Actors Daily Bread. We up in here in up here in Chatsworth, California, getting ready for all of you joining me in Bookmore TV. Um, Instagram, the link is in my bio. Facebook, the link is above. But here's something you can do. Understand that when you're not going all in, and I loved the fact that Tom Hanks, for those of you who watched the Golden Globes last night, <laughs> in, be in between the cocktails, right? <laughs> Lots of cocktails. But what I loved about Tom Hanks' uh, speech is toward the end, and I felt like he was just in my head, where I'm always telling my actors, y'all, we got to go there. If you're going to show up, like show up fully. And I love that how we talked about that, like really just giving it your all. Some of you have not gotten to where you want to get yet because you have not gone all in. And I'm not talking about meaning you got to quit your day job or your night job. I'm talking about a mentality change, a mental shift that says I'm going to be pro now, not wait till I get some opportunities to be pro. Y'all feel me? So there's just a whole different mindset shift that has to happen as you move into this new territory. That means working with people who you trust. That means getting a coach who you trust. That means finding a self-tape studio that you trust or building up your studio and getting your friends, your family, your mama, cousin, brother, daddy, whoever, peanut, whoever's going to read with you, make sure you're free to do that. Because I don't want you hiding behind the fact, because here's what you can easily say. Well, I, I mean, that audition wasn't great, but, you know, I really wasn't, uh, I mean, I didn't really, I wasn't really trying, you know, I mean, I just, you know, I just, it was a little something I did. See, as soon as you, as you, if you keep hiding behind excuses, there's a, there's a quote that I love from David Nagel. He's a finance coach. And he says, when you make an excuse, any excuse will do. So I'm not in the business of excuses, certainly not in 2020, certainly not for anybody who works with me, none of my clients. So you're going to have to save that for someone else. Les Brown always says, if, we, if you fight for your limitations, you're always going to win. So can we make a pledge as we come into this new decade, as you show up? Because listen, I had three auditions, two auditions on Friday, one came in today. The, it's starting to start. It's, it's starting to start. <laughs> the, the season is starting. So I want, if you are in the sound of my voice, declare that this is the year that we're going to stop playing small. We're going to stop hiding. Because what's going to happen is the more you fully show up, it's very vulnerable. And I get that. I get it. It is vulnerable to show up to these auditions. It's vulnerable to submit. It's vulnerable to tell, you know, I know some of y'all had holiday seasons and had to go to your family and your family's like, what you doing? You still doing that acting thing? We ain't going to give that up. Get you a real job with some benefits. <laughs> Look, I get it. I get it. But this is your vision and your dream. And let's not hide anymore behind half-assing it. I didn't get to where I am because of that. And the people who you admire, whose careers you admire, don't get there by half-assing it as well. Okay? So it's time to find out if you're any good. And listen, let me be clear. One person doesn't have the right to tell you you suck and you should give up. But it's time to start evaluating. Start checking the data. Looking at uh, the series of auditions you've had in the past year. Looking at the feedback you've gotten. Get, get some friends all in my webinar. Those of you who came, there was a tip I gave about doing audition swaps and, and you tr getting with a trusted actor friend and you guys look at each other's tapes like and show love and be honest and be like, man, what's that thing you're doing on camera? Every time you talk, you're doing something with your hands or you're, you're blinking too much or you're doing this kind of thing with your body. Like this is time to be real with people. But it's time to find out because the longer you don't go there, the more you're putting up a block toward the thing that it, you say you want. I'm gonna say one more thing before I go. You know, last year I have this series that I do sometimes called How'd You Book It? Some of you may be seeing my series on Instagram called uh, What This Role Taught Me. But I also do this thing sometimes where I share previous self tapes. And I remember I was sharing a tape, um, my audition for The Good Doctor that I was on last year or the year, I can't remember, was it last year, the year before, who knows? <laughs> But I remember some of my students, um, the Boogie Magnet Academy and the Hollywood Bound Actors, were like, wow, you really went there. Like, I barely noticed the difference between your audition and your, what you did on tape. 
um, what you did on the actual show. And my point was, yeah, because I had to fully go there. How can I show you casting producers network that I can do it if I don't show you? And some, I saw the light go off in so many of my actors' heads. Like, wow, I didn't think, A, some of you said I didn't think to even go there. I was kind of saving it till I got on set. No. Some of you were like, I didn't know I could. That's powerful, y'all. I talked to so many of you who are still waiting on permission to be excellent. You're waiting on permission to fully go there, to fully like go hard in the paint. No one's gonna give you that permission. You have to do it, you just have to show up that way. Because there's gonna be the me's of the world who's gonna show up, balls to the walls, like tears, like whatever the scene calls for, as if, it, as if we're shooting it right now. As if we are, the, the director's there saying action. So I want y'all to really put more weight onto this. Now I'm not saying make your auditions more precious and be more concer overly concerned about the outcome. But what I am saying is just fully commit. Fully commit with a full heart. Just like you would a relationship. Y'all know I love a re relationship analogies, right? So it's like dating somebody and you just never give them your heart and wonder why the relationship doesn't work out. So you got, the partner over here trying to give you, you know, give you love, give you affection, give you opportunity, you know, shower you with attention. And you're just like, eh, uh, okay. You kind of half-assing it. And then when the partner moves on, you're like, what happened? You didn't show up fully. The same is with your acting career. We are in a relationship with that thing. So me and Rebecca going to get back to work. Well, Rebecca ain't stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca has to stop working. But I had to come on and make sure I send you guys some love. Thank you to all of you who rocked with me last week on some of the webinars. If you are on the fence at all about joining me in Book More TV, don't be. It's either for you or it's not. It's all good. My goal is to go hard in the paint. For all these lovely people who are joining me, this is what we're working hard over here to make sure you have the best possible five weeks ever. Okay, and that some bookings come from it. Have an amazing night. If you have want to catch up, come to my YouTube channel, hit subscribe, and binge your life away. There's 208 other episodes you can catch. I love you all. I believe in you. But it's time to find out what you're working with, what the goods are. Be Start hanging around some honest people who can give you some real juicy, helpful feedback. I love you. Have a good night. Bye.